what's up everybody welcome back to another video it's been like what three weeks since i made a video maybe mm, a month ago it might have been about two weeks ago to a month ago i don't really remember when i told you but i told y'all that i was going to be moving complete nightmare the whole entire moving process i'm not gonna get all into it this one i just picked up a few days ago so this is basic vanilla these scent notes are vanilla marshmallow and warm chai i absolutely love it it's so good it has like that same dna as vanilla clouds and the vanilla cocoa or wait vanilla cocoa vanilla one um they it's it smells like a mixture of those two to me personally with the added marshmallow so it could just be that vanilla and also that pink dna maybe i don't know there's something in it that reminds me of the two of those but more of a creamier type of way the next one is going to be victoria's secret bare vanilla golden first of all all of these the packaging so freaking pretty sugar tonka and orchid blossom and then it says bare vanilla and golden hour one thing i will say that i noticed about this one is it smells a lot like the bare vanilla heat that released uh in the summertime for some reason i get a mango note out of this bare vanilla golden i don't know why but i do definitely get it it's i don't know what it is but it's like some type of fruity note but it's like a deep fruit such as like a mango like an orangey fruit it's like an orangey fruit but it's not tangy because it reminded me a lot of that i have already worn it um the longevity is okay it just all depends on how much you spray it depends on your body chemistry all of those things play a factor into how your fragrances last i personally paired it with uh britney spears sunset fantasy because i also paired sunset fantasy with bare vanilla heat and they go so well together um so i'm still coming up with more combinations to wear and i'll probably come up with some more here in the next couple of weeks final scent that i picked up was pure seduction golden so i don't really like crave pure seduction but when I got to the store, I was I wanted the Velvet Petals Golden. It wasn't giving. It was more like a green almond, a little bit green smelling. It's like one of those scents that you probably can make work, but I would just rather not. And those for this one are Gilded Amber and Magnolia Flower. This one reminds me, okay, so I paired this one with Britney Spears Fantasy, the original. So if you have the intent, it will probably go with it well. This one is a nice warm, um, kind of an ambery scent. But it also pulls a slightly like peppery, but in the most um, sultry kind of seductive way. It's a very, very nice fragrance. This one is probably one of the more longer lasting ones out of the two of these. It's a little bit stronger, more on that perfume side. And when I wear like gourmands and fruity scents and stuff like that, I definitely like to make them more grown woman-esque, like, you know, just have that very nice perfume element so not only is it sophisticated but it's edible at the same time and yes yeah, some days i want it softer where i don't really care about the perfume essence at all the perfume undertone is really what kind of makes it last longer on my skin personally so definitely go to the store smell these see which one you like once again i'm going to be coming up with some more combinations these are all of the scents that i picked up and this is my final review if anything changes i'll definitely update y'all and let you know if whatever other combinations i can come up with you'll definitely probably see it in a short because more than likely i share it as long as i have it with me and i have time sometimes i'm rushing out the door um then i'll definitely be sure to post this so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for subscribing and sticking with me i know that it's been a minute i'll be back very soon see y'all in another video bye